Welcome and welcome to Religion Wing TV, where my spiritual ears stay. I'm your host, Spirituality. Now let's sip on this. Shalom. Hey, you all. Good morning. Once again, I'm all in my feelings. I read 121 Bible verses for this morning's read, edition 72, episode 72, and here I am again doing it all over by the grace of God, right? With the same energy and the same positive attitude. Guys, something is going on with my desktop. It keeps saying low this. When I try to record or do like a special presentation, it's telling me it's recording. But then when I go to upload it, you know, edit, upload, whatever, render it. And only part of it's there. So I do apologize. I am going to get into First Chronicles chapter 6 and 7 today, right? And we do this read because we know some people like to get up and read people to filth. But we like to get up and read people to like That's life more abundantly, right? So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. It was such a beautiful read. We got through in uh, 43 minutes. So let's see if we can top that, okay? Being that I read the names, I should know how to pronounce them. And again, after reading these two chapters, there's really not much commentary. That's why I got through in 43 minutes the last time. And hopefully we can get done a little sooner. But guys, again, remember the genealogy, the lineage, beyond Selma, beyond slavery, beyond... um. You know, taken over by the Romans and the, 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 you know, the lighter brothers of the world. We definitely had ancestors. We definitely had people in this Bible that we are kin to, okay? So with that being said, oh my God. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. But before we do, please go over to my channel. Guys, please go over to my channel and subscribe. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share this channel. Share my voice. Share the Most High God. Share, 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 share. Okay, subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1K organically. I'm over here grinding, doing the best I can. And I need you guys not only to support my channel, but uh, get yourselves over to teesprings.com. And, um... Get yourselves over to teesprings.com, pick up your morning coffee mugs, and also, guys, you can get a t-shirt over there while you're there as well. Uh, Wingsters We Lace, that lace is L-A-Y-S-E, looking at you side-eyed, right? So let's go ahead and get into this morning read. Alright, chapter 6, 1 Chronicles, verse 1. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, Marari. Two, and the sons of Kohath, Amram, Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel. Three, and the children of Amram, Aaron, and Moses, and Miriam. The sons also of Aaron, Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. Now, Eleazar is a well-known guy. Go to Second Maccabees chapter 6. It's funny how he's in chapter 6 in 1 Chronicles, and you can find more accounts of his life over in Maccabees, 2 Maccabees chapter 6. Now, Eleazar chapter 4 beget Phinehas, and Phinehas beget Abushua, 5, and Abushua beget Bukai, and Bukai beget Uzai, 6, and Uzai beget Zerariah, and Zerariah beget Marioth. 7. And Mariah beget Amariah, and Amariah beget Abutu. 8. And, Ab and Ahutu beget Zadok, and Zadok beget Ahimaaz. 9. And Ahimaaz beget Azariah, Ma'ah, and Azariah beget Jahanan. 10. And Jahanan beget Azariah. These names are repetitive, so just bear with me and try to stay focused. He is he it is that executed the priest's office in the temple of Solomon, which he built. Eleven. And Azariah beget Amariah, and Amariah beget Ahitu. Twelve. And Ahitu beget Zadok, and Zadok beget Shalom, 
13 and Shalom beget Helikah, Hil Hilkaah, and Hilkaah beget Azariah. 14. Azariah beget Sariah, and Sariah beget Jehozadak. 15. And Jehozadak went into captivity, and the Lord carried away Judah and Jerusalem by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, who we will get into more in the book of Daniel. 16. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. And let me just say here, guys, we do this morning read disclaimer because we know some people cannot physically see. Some people cannot literally read. And others are just church hurt, abused out in the world as lost souls. And they need us to stand in the gap to bring the word to them so that they can hear what thus saith the Lord, right? So it goes on to say, 16, the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. 17, and these be the names of the sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shemia. 18, and the sons of Kohath were Amram, and Izhar, and Hebron, and Uziel. 19, the sons of Merari, Male, and Mushi. And these are the families of the Levites according to their families, their fathers. And Haitians, you are the Levites of the world today. 20. Of Gershom, Libna his son, Jahath his son, Zema his son. 21. Joash his son, Ido his son, Zera his son, Jaatara his son. 22. The sons of Kohath, Aminadab his son, Korah his son, Asir his son. 23. Elkanah his son. Ebiasapha his son and Asir his son and I say Elkanah because Elkanah is the father of Samuel the wife of Hannah and you can find this account in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and then it goes on to say 23 Elkanah his son Abisapha his son Asir his son 24 Tahath his son Uriel his son Uziah his son and Shual his son 25. And the sons of Elkanah, Amasai, and Ahamoth. 26. As for Elkanah, the sons of Elkanah, Zopah his son, and Nahith his son. Now remember, he had other children with Peninia. That was the Métis, the second wife of Elkanah, who used to taunt Hannah because she couldn't have any children. And then God blessed her with Samuel. So we haven't read that name yet. Out of Elkanah 26 As for Elkanah's son The sons of Elkanah Zophai his son And, Zo and Nahath his son 27 Eliab his son Jehoram his son Elkanah his son Now see it says Elkanah here But I believe it's Samuel Because the next verse goes on to say And the sons of Samuel The firstborn Vashni and Abihai so Samuel is the son of Elkanah. He's in his lineage here, okay? But remember, he has a mother named Hannah, and all these other sons may have other mothers. I know Peninia is one of the mothers of Elkanah's other children. So 29, the sons of Merari, Male, Libne, his son, Shimei, his son, Uzzah, his son, 30, Shemia, his son, Hagia, his son, Asaiah his son 31 and these are they whom David set over the services of the song in the house of the Lord after the dark had rest 32 and they ministered before the dwelling place of the tabernacle of the congregation was singing until Solomon had built the house of the Lord in Jerusalem and then they waited on their office according to their order 33 and these were they that waited with their children of the sons of the Kohathites. The Kohathites. He man a singer, the son of Joel and the son of Shumiel. 34. <coughs> Excuse me. The son of Elkanah, the son of jo Jeroham, the son of Eliel, the son of Tohah. 35. The son of Zuth, the son of Elkanah, the son of Mahat. The son of Asima. 36. The son of Elkanah. The son of Joel. The son of Azariah. The son of Zephaniah. 37. 
the son of Tahath, the son of Asir, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, 38, the son of Ishar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, the son of Israel. Levi is the son of Israel, and it just told you all of Levi's descendants at that time. Because the Bible may have very well been not published anymore in this world, but it's still the accounts, the people are still waxing strong, still multiplying and replenishing the earth, but why are they not keeping track of God's people anymore? Hello. They do. They do the census, but even there, they're trying to write you off as non-existent on paper, right? 39. And his brother Asaf, who stood on his right hand, even Asaf, the son of Berechiah, the son of Shemia. 4. The son of Michael, the son of Bashiah, the son of Mel Malchiah. 41. And we have to go to verse 81, guys. So we're getting there, right? 41. The sons of Ethni, the sons of Zerah, the sons of Adiah. 42. The sons of Ethan, the sons of Zema, the sons of Shemei. 43. The sons of Jahat, the sons of Gershon, the sons of Levi. 44. And their brother, the sons of Mari, Mamari. Stood on the left hand, Ethan, the son of Kishai, the son of Abdi, the son of Maluk. 45. The sons of Hash Abiah, the sons of Amaziah, the sons of Hilkiah. 46. The sons of Amzi, the sons of Bani, the sons of Shamir. 47. The son of Mali, the son of Mushai, the son of Mer Marari, the son of Levi. 48. Their brethren, also the Levites, were appointing, appointed unto all manner of service of the tabernacle of the house of the Lord. Verse 49. But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of license, incense, excuse me, and were appointed for all the work of the place most holy and to make an atonement for Israel according to all that Moses the servant of God commanded not atonement for the city of Israel but the man Israel and his descendants that's who we make atonement for people if you bless Israel the descendants of Israel God will bless you if you curse Israel Israel and his descendants God gonna curse you 50 and these are the sons of Aaron Eleazar his son Phinehas his son Abushia his son, fifty one, Bukai his son, Uzai his son, Zariah his son, fifty two, Mariah his son, Amariah his son, Ahuto his son, fifty three, Zadok his son, Ahamias his son, fifty four. Now these are the dwelling places throughout their castles and their coasts. Of the sons of Aaron, Aaron, and the families of the Kohathites, for theirs was the lot. 55. And they gave them Hebron in the land of Judah, in the suburbs thereof, round about it. 56. But the fields of the cities of the villages thereof, they gave to Caleb, the son of Juthene, the one whom I believe were, was down with Joshua, when they went to spy out the land. 57. And to the sons of Aaron they gave the cities of Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge, Libna, and with her suburbs, and Jatir and Eshtemoa with their suburbs. 58. Hylen with her suburbs, Debir with her suburbs. 59. Ashan with her suburbs, and Beshemeth with her suburbs. 60. And out of the tribe of Benjamin, Geba. For, for her suburbs, and Alameth with her suburbs, and Anathoth with her suburbs. All their cities throughout their families were 13 cities. And I tell you, when God gave them a name, their name generally accompanied the city or land that they possessed. 61. And unto the sons of Kohath, which were left in the families of that tribe, were cities given out of half the tribe, namely out of the half tribe, of Manasseh by lots and cities. Verse 62. 
and to the sons of Gershom throughout their families out of the tribes of Issachar and out of the tribe of Asher and out of the tribe of Naphtali and out of the tribe of Manasseh in Bashan 13 cities now those are four brothers of the 12 tribes 63 unto the sons of Marari were given by lot throughout their families out of the tribe of Reuben another son out of the tribe of Gad another son out of the tribe of Zebulun twelve cities and another son sixty four and the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs with their surrounding land with open lands excuse me sixty five and they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin these cities which are called by their names sixty six and the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath has cities of theirs, coasts, territories, out of the tribe of Ephraim, another representation of the twelve tribes. 67. And they gave unto them of the cities of ref refuge, Sheshem and Mount Ephraim, with her suburbs. They gave also Gezer with her suburbs. 68. And Jechamim, Jomet, Jokmaim, with her suburbs and Beth Horon with her suburbs and I said in the last recording it's funny how God referenced everything to her but when man certain men of this world get their hands on everything it becomes a man's world and I said one of my uh, good friends supporters here you know one of my people I, I socialize with on YouTube I'm just saying that yeah I said James Brown said it's a man's world she responded big to me saying yeah but James Brown said it wouldn't be a, a world without a woman or a girl or a lady in it right a female energy and that's absolutely true and I think that's why certain men went through this world trying to control it and be in power because God has a special place for the woman in his heart and I'll go on to say that I believe we are the holy grail. We are the holy womb. We are the lifeline of humankind, mankind. A woman brought forth mankind. Adam was created. Everybody at a cre at after Adam came through a woman, right? So let's go on to verse 65. And it goes on to say, 64. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And the children of Israel gave to the Levites these cities with their suburbs. 65. And they gave by lot of the tribe of the children of Judah, and out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, and out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, these cities which are called by their names. Also more representation of the children of Israel. And I've read that. 66. And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath, cities of their coast, out of the tribe of Ephraim 67 and they gave unto them of the cities of ref refuge Sheshem and Mount Ephraim with her suburbs they gave also Gezer with her suburbs 68 and Jokmam with her suburbs and Bethoron with her suburbs 69 and this is where we left off I'm gonna keep my finger next time in place right and Ijalon with her suburbs, and Gathramon with her suburbs, 70. And we have to go to verse 81. And out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Anir and her suburbs, and Bilam and her suburbs, for the family of the remnant of the sons of Kohath, 71. Unto the sons of Goshan were given out of the family of the tribe of, of the half tribe of Manasseh, Golan and Bashan with her suburbs, and Ashtaroth with her suburbs. And again, Ashtaroth is a pagan god. Eshtar, Eshtar, however you want to say it. You worship the pagan holiday after her. Um, over in Egypt, she dips her eggs in blood. And so now the American culture to keep that tradition going is to dip your eggs and die. Right? So here we go. 72. And out of the tribe of Issachar, Kadesh with her suburbs, Debarath with her suburbs, 73. And Ramath with her suburbs, and Anim with her suburbs, 74. And out of the tribe of Asher, Mushai with her suburbs, and Adan with her suburbs, and Habkuk 
with her suburbs and Rehub with her suburbs. 76. And out of the tribe of Naphtali, still the children of Israel, Kadesh and Galilee with her suburbs, and Haman with her suburbs, and Kajetharim with her suburbs. Now we read a man named Kajetharim. So Kajetharim is a name and there's land that goes along with these people's names. But what they did in this world was went and changed all the early maps. They didn't think people would go back so far looking for maps. But if you go back 13, 1200, 1100 BC, you will see that the maps are different from the 1500s, 1600s coming on back this way. 77. Unto the rest of the children of Memrari Mem were giving out of the tribe of Zebulon, Remon with her suburbs, Tabor with her suburbs. Still, we're talking about the children of Israel here, people. Land was given to us and land was taken from us. But you know how God says, I give and I'll take. God didn't take this from us. Mankind did. 78. And due to part to blindness and disobedience, it was easy for them to do it. Because we were disobedient to God. So anytime an enemy rose up against us, God allowed it. If you obey God, I bet you your enemy will go away. So 78 goes on to say, And on the other side of Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of Jordan, were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer in the wilderness with her suburbs, and Jaza with her suburbs. 79. Ketamoth also with her suburbs. Maaoth. With her suburbs. Verse 80. And out of the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilead with her suburbs. And Mahanaim with her suburbs. And the last verse of chapter 6, verse 81. Heshbon with her suburbs. And Jazir with her suburbs. I thought he was about to say Hezbollah. <laughs> you know, because there's some people over in Saudi Arabia. Check out the place called Elam. Elam is one of the descendants of Shem. Not who, the, not who the Christ came out of, but is in our lineage. So, this is your girl, Spirituality. You are watching my channel network, Religion Wing TV. And guys, my spiritual ear, stay. Let me take a sip of coffee and we will go right into chapter 7 by all... By on all accounts, we're doing better than the last three guys. We're only 22 minutes and 30 seconds in of this morning read. And we have 40 short verses to go. Totaling 124, 21 verses today. And this has been the shortest amount of time we've spent on the morning read so far, right? So if we can get the 40 verses in in about 10-15 minutes, again, we'll stay under that 43 minutes. And I find it easier, guys, to do the read this way, upload it, premiere it, engage in conversation with you all, and then versus me going live and the interaction is good, don't get me wrong, but I like to study and concentrate when I'm giving this word out. Distractions can get people not to hear what thus saith the Lord. And that's what I think the church has done. Distracted people to the point where they don't want to hear about God when they go to church. They want to be entertained. And we got to stop entertaining people with the word of God. And making it and saying it the way thus saith the Lord brought it down to this earth before man got their hands on it and deceived people with it. Right, people? Alright. So, we are being led into chapter 7, 1 Chronicles, verse 1. Now, the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Ju Juab, and Shimram, 4, verse 2. And the sons of Tula, Uzai, and Raphaiah, and Jariel, and Jamai and Jibsam and Shumiel, heads of their father's house, to wit, of Tola, there were valiant men of might in their generations, whose number was in the days of David, two and twenty thousand and six hundred. Verse three. And the sons of Uzai, Isariah, and the sons of Isariah, Michael, 
and Obadiah and Joel, Ishai, five, all of them chief men, four, and with them by their generations after the house of their fathers were bands of soldiers for war six and thirty thousand men for they had many wives and sons i can believe that five and their brethren among all the families of issachar were valiant men of might reckoning by their genealogies fourscore and seven thousand and the sons of benjamin verse six bala and becher and jediel three verse seven and the sons of baal Esbon and Uzai and Uziel, Jeremoth and Irie. And I told you in the last clip, uh, I have a friend, a Jamaican named Irie. And it's amazing to see his name in the Bible, right? Five, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, and right reckoned by their genealogies, 20 and 2034. Verse 8, and the sons of Becher. Zemira and Joash and Eli Eliezer and Elo Oma Elo O Anai El Eli and Amri and Jeremoth and Abia and Anathoth and Alameth. All of these are the sons of Bekshir. These are people we don't even hear about, but I bet you. These people have descendants. We're out here. We're all part of the tribes. Don't you? Anybody that suffered the Willie Lynch syndrome, you are a part of the tribe. So here we go. Verse 9. And the number of them after their genealogy by their generations, heads of the house of their fathers, mighty men of valor, was 20,200. And I said, you know, people are still doing census today. But again, they are not counting black people the way we should be counting. This world's job was always to eliminate who they think are the children of Israel. That's why they asked you on any, any survey, white, black, Hispanic, Latino, why not Hebrew, Israelite? So now when I have to check off two or more races you're absolutely right i check off two or more races hello 10 the sons of jediel bela and the sons of bela jeush and benjamin and ehud and shen Naa, and zethan and tharshish and ahishar ahishar okay 11 all these the sons of jediel by the heads of their fathers mighty men of valor were 17,200 soldiers fit to go out for war and battle. 12. Shupim, also Hupim, the children of Ur, Ir, Ur, I R, and Hushan, the sons of Ahir. 13. The sons of Naphtali, Jaziel, and Gunai, and Jezir, and Shulam, the sons of Bila. 14. The sons of Manasseh, Ashriel, whom she bare, but his concubine, the Ar Aramites, bare Machir, the father of Gilead. 15. And Machir took to wife the, miss, the sister of Hupim and Shupim, whose sister name was Maaka, and the name of the second was Zol Zolephahad, and Zolephahad had daughters. 16. And Maika, the wife of Makir, bare a son, and she called his name Paresh, and the name of his brother was Sheresh, and his sons were Ulam and Rakim. 17. And the sons of Ulam, Bedim, these were the sons of Gilead, the son of Makir, the son of Manasseh. Hello, Manasseh is the grandson of Israel. But Manasseh is also one of the twelve tribes because Jacob said that he would honor Ephraim and Manasseh when Joseph went on. So, 18. And his sisters, Hamayaket, Bear, Ashad, and Ibezer, and Mahala, 19. And the sons of Shemadai were Ahan, and Sheshem, and Lekai, and I and I and them. Okay, so guys, let's go ahead. Get yourself over to Amazon.com. Pick up any book that you need uh, for your reading needs. 
from baby books to Black Lives Matter, uh, beyond some of the first protests, the call to repentance, and definitely it wouldn't be any, it wouldn't be worth going over there if you could not get your spirituality, right? So go on over to Amazon.com and pick up any book you want. I speak the way I write. I write the way I speak. There's no uh, uh, discrepancies there, guys. It is what it is. I'm a self-publisher. And um, eventually I will grow into more. I will become a number one bestseller. But I can't do that without you. You have to go over, search my books out, and find if there's anything for you. Back to the morning read. Because we are on verse 20. And we have to go to verse 40, guys. This is good. We're, we're doing great. And the sons of Ephraim, Shutala, Bered, his son, and Tahath, his son, Iliadad, his son, and Tahath, his son, 21, Zabad, his son, and Shutala, his son, and Azar, and Eliad, whom the men of Gath that were born in that land slew because they came down to take away their cattle. 22, and Ephraim, their father, mourned many days, and his brethren came to comfort him. Manasseh is Ephraim's brother by Joseph, but Jacob, Israel, adopted the two sons of Joseph, adopted his grandsons into the 12 tribes. 20, and there's something to do with Reuben sleeping with Jacob's wife, so he got discredited a little bit. Dan got kicked out. So basically, the two sons of Joseph replaced Joseph and Dan. Reuben is still considered one of the 12 brothers, but he did not get an inheritance such greater than Ephraim and Manasseh, right? So verse 22, 23 goes on to say, And when he went into his wife, she conceived and bare a son and called his name Bariah, because it went evil with his house. Oh, Lord. And see, some of y'all naming y'all children names, and it can have an evil effect, an evil name, and then you're speaking that name over your kids all the time. And, ooh, we heard a lot of times these people name their children uh, certain things. One lady yesterday named her child, I forget the name of it, oh God, but because she was sorrowful, okay? So she named her son Sorrow. <laughs> 25, 24. And his daughter was Shera, who built Bethoron, um, the nether and the upper, using Shera. 25. And Rapha was his son, also Reshep, and Tela, his son, and Tahan, his son. 26. Laadan, his son. Amiahu, his son. Elishama, his son. 27. Nan, his son. Jehoshua, his son. 28. And their possessions and habitations were Bethel and the towns thereof. And eastward, not Aran, and westward, Gezir, with the towns thereof. Sheshem, also the towns thereof. Unto Gaza and the towns thereof. 29. And by the borders of the children of Manasseh, Beth Shean, and her towns, Ta'anat and her towns, Megadel and her towns, Dor and her towns, and those dwelt the children of Joseph, the son of Israel. Joseph's sons, Manasseh and Ephraim, and that's where they dwelt. 30. The sons of Asher, Imna and Ushia and Ishuai and Bariah and Sarah, their sister. 30. And the sons of Bariah, Heber, Malkiel, who is the father of Bizath, Bir Zavit? 32. And Heber beget Zephlet, and Shomer, and Hothan, and Shua, their sister. 33. And the sons of Jatlet, Pasach, and Bimhal, and Ashvath. These are the children of Jatlet. 34. And the sons of Shemar, Ahai, and Rogah, and Jehuba, and Aram. 35. And the sons of his brother Helem, Zophah, and Emna, and Shalesh, and Amal. 36. The sons of Zophah, and Sua, and Harnafer, and Shuai, and Bari, and Emra. 37. 
Bezir and Han and Shama and Shilna and Ithran and Beera, thirty-eight, and the sons of Jether, Jephune, Pisa and Ara, thirty-nine, and the sons of Ula, Ara and Haran and Reza. And guys, we are on the last verse of the book of this morning. Read chapter seven, and if you please feel the need to donate, support this channel in any way. Donations are not required, but are greatly appreciated when accepted. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can cash at me at cash at me at Religion Link TV, and also PayPal me at Drew L Murray fifty. I do appreciate it, guys. And now on to the last verse of this morning. Read verse forty. All these. Uh oh. Let's get back to the morning. Read first verse forty. All these were the children of Ashur. Heads of their fathers, house, choice and mighty men of valor, chief of the princes, and the number throughout the genealogy of them that were apt to war and to battle was twenty and six thousand men. So guys, you can go back into the book of Numbers and see when the first uh, census was really done. I told you man is always trying to manipulate what God has done in this world. But you can't let man get away with everything that God has inspired for you to do. Once you get back to what God called you to do, man won't have any existence in your world of controlling you or enslaving you. So guys, with that being said, I want to make sure I put everything in here. Go ahead over to teesprings.com, get your coffee mugs and your t-shirts. You definitely can go over to Amazon.com and get a book for any of your reading needs. You also can give donations to this channel. Feel free. I don't, you know, discriminate about you and what you give your money to and who you give your money to. If this channel is blessing you in any way, please feel free. For the love of God, the world have been supporting ministries that ain't even ministering to the word to the to the children of God or the lost souls of the world. And with that being said, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Not only to my channel, but to my voice, to my content, to me, to God, to the Ruhat, the Holy Spirit, the holiest spirit in the land, the highest spirit in the land. And guys, with that being said, this is your girl, Religion Wing TV, and we're going to go ahead and keep this under 40 minutes. So go, let, go ahead, let this sound of the shofar blowing and the background Renette resonate to your spirit, and I shall return shortly. I'm going to get it together Jesus. one day, y'all. Religion Wing TV, this is your girl's spirituality. Yes, this is your girl, Spirituality. You are watching Religion Wing TV and my spiritual ears. Stay! <laughs> Alright guys, we did it. Remember, the word of God, uh, the morning read is over, episode 72. Uh, just because the morning read is over does not mean the word of God ended. The word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And if the grass fade and the flowers wither, just remember the word of God stands forever. And until you begin to stand on the word of God, you will always fall for Satan's devices and his tricks. Okay, the Bible says, be not ignorant of his devices, lest he gains advantage on you. And what did this world do? Well... It's the world's job to be ignorant like Satan. But the people of the world perish for lack of knowledge. And that's how they become ignorant of Satan's devices. This is your girl's spirituality. And my spiritual ears stay. Shalom. We are under 40 minutes. We did it, guys. I'm excited. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and play my little outro for y'all one more time. Thank you so much for watching Religion Link TV. This is your spirituality and my spiritual ears. Shalom, you guys.
guys. Have a great day. God bless you. And thank you so much for fellowshipping with your girl, Spirituality, over here on Religion Link TV. Thank you. God bless.